Hi guys, today I'm going to go through a quick and basic usage of SAS maps and the SAS loop function. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is go through each one of these colours and assign a class to them. Now I'm going to start off by saying I didn't know much about SAS maps before listening to episode 197 of Shop Talk Show with Stacey Kavorna. Um, and in that episode I checked out her code pen page, she had loads of cool stuff with SAS maps and breakpoints. Um, and I wanted to go through this to show you how it's done really quickly. So what I'm going to do is do a quick example of how I'm going to run through these classes and basically do a BGC dash red and make it do background color. But to each one of these using SAS maps. So first of all, I'm going to create my map by calling this page colors. And that is it. That map's pretty much created. So you can't have special characters in SAS maps. So what I'm going to do is get rid of all of these um, dollar signs in front of the colors, like so. And then get rid of these semicolons and replace them with commas. And that's it. That's the map created. So whatever I save here, output CSS over here. Currently there isn't much output because it's just variables, but I'm going to do an each function which will go through all of them. So each page color. So I'm going to call this side page color and this side color. So as you can see, this is referring to that. That is referring to that in page colors. Okay, and then I'm going to do BGC and then the name, keep doing that, the name of the variable which is page color. Inside that class, I'm going to do background color. So before I save, this background color is grabbing one of these, so it's going through each one of these. So that should be red, red here, color, color there, each every time. So if I save, should I put here all the colors that I want to with their own classes? Now if I wanted to, I could do this, a similar thing for um, that's colors as well. So let's copy and paste this. And then just do C, the color. Save. Have the same thing here as well. So if I want to just have a color for text, it'll be C red. Background color, BGC red. And that's it. That's a quick and simple run through of using SAS maps and SAS loops.